Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are working on the E90 again. Got my brother with me um, <laughs> a little early in the morning, but uh, we got the we got your new tires loaded up, right? We got your old tires loaded up, bro. Those things are terrible yeah. condition. They're gonna see it, right? Yeah, no, they, they probably already saw it by now, guys. It was in absolutely terrible condition. I mean, there is no way, I don't even know how the heck they blew it that bad. Like, they must have blew it and they kept on driving on. I think it was in terrible shape. Um, but yeah, anywho, um, so we're heading down to Stockton to Wheels and Tires Zone. These are the guys that mount all my tires and wheels. Like, shout out to them, I love them so much. So we're heading down to them right now to get these wheels and tires mounted. And then also while we're down there, there's a few pick and pulls that have a couple E90s and even some uh, Titans. We're gonna check all those cars out Hopefully we can get some parts that are pretty cheap. At least if we can get anything at all, that'd be pretty awesome. There's about six cars we're looking at. Hopefully we can at least get something we need there. Primarily, we are heading down there, 45 minute drive to get these wheels and tires mounted. Wheel and tire zone. We just dropped off all the tires. We're getting rid of one tire. We're getting rid of the two tires that are on the rims, and we're getting two new tires mounted. So uh, yeah, hopefully once all that gets sorted, we'll be hitting the pick and pull. But again, huge shout out to Wheel and Tire Zone for pretty much always getting my work done quickly. Also, I love the guys here. I love the owners. So that's again why I always come here. Second E90, guys, these actually have sports seats as well. Actually, they already unbolted it, so technically, if we want to take these sports seats, we can take them. We found aluminum trim, which is actually pretty awesome, so if you just clean that up, it actually looks pretty good, right? Yeah. Definitely, aluminum trim would be super nice on my brother's interior, so we're gonna keep looking if there's any other aluminum trim on any of the door panels or anything, because that would be a cop, and the sports seats are already pulled out, so technically, if we wanted them, we could take them, but we don't need them. All right, guys, me and my brother are very, very, very sweaty right now. I'm more sweaty than you are, honestly, but I mean, uh, guys, we got out of there with the huge cop. Honestly, the biggest thing that was pain in the butt was carrying that big old toolbox I need to get a smaller toolbox I don't know if you guys saw my giant Milwaukee box I got off like Amazon or eBay for like 30 bucks um, it looks cool but it is just too heavy and I put all my tools in it and it makes it super inconvenient anywho we got the wheels and tires mounted we also got some aluminum trim pieces for the E90 um, in total we spent about 30 bucks for three trim pieces which is really good so uh, in the meantime though we have to get the rest of the trim pieces before installing it all but we got some of the parts also we did get Jonathan a cup holder for his new car I don't know if you guys know but he picked up a new whip a new BMW but uh yeah we're gonna go meet up with them right now I'm gonna be working on the E90 some more as soon as we get home but meantime let's get some drinks from McDonald's because I am starving actually I'm not starving but I'm really thirsty Jonathan actually pulled up in his uh, brand new whip, the E46. Uh, so yeah, if you guys wanna check out this new whip, you have a video already dropped on it, right? Video, yes. Okay, so he has a brand new video on it, link down below. So it, bro, 
for the money, dude, it's a you steal, scored. Bro, it, literally, for the current economy, this was the same deal I picked up a few years ago, and it was a steal. Like, he can literally double up his money today, like right Honestly, now. I Put it up, it. take better right. pictures of his photography skills, guys. <laughs> Easy flip, bro. It would, it would sell. sell. So, that's just such a good cop. He has a lot of good content coming up on the E46. We're kind of going back to our roots, me and Jonathan, just getting those older cards, enjoying yeah, them, man. building them. It's fun. Getting a good deal. Getting a good deal it's, and just making like, it a beast in the end. Bro, like, we have so much better, dude. I the E90, it. guys, you have so many plans. The E46 have so many plans. I mean, obviously, we've been getting these M cars and these, you know, the F chassis. Those are fun. Those are great. Even the i8, it's fun and great. But you can't really do as much. Unlike these cars, you can literally do anything and everything. Yeah, because so, you don't really care if anything <laughs> and happens. And everything's cheap, bro. Everything's, everything's cheap. cheap. That's so, plus. yeah. So, we got these new tires mounted up. I mean, they're not... I don't really know what the brands are exactly. <laughs> but, I mean, basically, I'll put these two new tires. They're sport tires uh, from eBay. Um, we got them, I think, for around 160 for both. So, that was a good deal. Again, this is a budget build. But we wanted new tires. I don't want used tires. So, these should at least last my brother at least a year. No issues. We're going to go ahead and paint these. Hopefully, another day. The goal is, right now, we have the wheels off uh, we, we have a brake light and obviously to pass brake and light inspection um, we need to replace the rear rotors because they're completely shot and we're also gonna be replacing the rear brake pads and the sensor and in the front we're gonna do the same thing so uh, yeah without further ado that's what we're gonna go ahead and jump into rotors from i guess zimmer zimmer what zimmerman zimmerman so uh again these are actually from fcp arrow i didn't really care about the brand i'm sure this brand is certified because fcp has a lifetime warranty with literally everything so huge special shout out with them for partnering up with this video so yeah these rotors will have a lifetime warranty when these want to go bad we literally just take them off and send right back to FCP Euro. We get brand new rotors, and we also got brakes from FCP Euro as well. So that is a giant hookup. So this E90 is pretty much set on brakes for the rest of its life, which is pretty awesome. So without further ado, let's go ahead and install these bad boys, and uh, hopefully these are the rears, because we just hammered off the rears, and uh, we didn't order front. So I hope these are the rears. guys so we got some brand new shoes in the back some brand new tires a brand new rotor and some brand new brakes on the other side i'm gonna put a brand new sensor uh brakes rotor and also tires so the rear end is getting a lot of love as for these wheels guys for the now for the for the meantime because it is a budget build we're gonna go ahead and paint it so it'll match up with the wrap it looks somewhat decent uh, So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and sand these down restore it, show you guys how we do that in a future video but as for now it's looking so good guys at least it's drivable the previous tires were absolutely wrecked so uh yeah so far so good super happy in how the results are coming out let's go on and work on the other side the front wheels and we noticed that the brakes honestly were not bad we don't have rotors so we figured i mean honestly why replace the brake pads when the rotors are pretty decent the brake pads are pretty decent in the front so we did order them we're gonna probably keep them as spares down the road when we do need to replace them for the front and then we might as well even order rotors for the fronts as well when the time comes you have new rotors and new brakes for the front when the time comes as for now they actually look pretty good i'm actually going to go ahead and remove this tire real quick and just make sure the sensor is good because we do have a brake light don't know why we replaced the rear sensor the rear sensor is good to go but we need to make sure that this particular um sensor is in order and then we can go ahead and reset the codes and make sure everything is good because we do have a brake light and we need to get that situated before brake and light inspection it also could be the e-brake and that would be uh kind of a mess so first things first i'm just going to go ahead and clear all the codes so anything that comes on from here on out we know is because of us or current issues um typically if a battery dies you got to get a bunch of codes um but actually currently 26 percent 30 percent five issues not too shabby let's go ahead and click show codes uh footwell module okay so again 
um, half sensor defected window driver door. Um, okay, yeah, so we just got a bunch of codes right here. Again, I don't really know what all this stuff is. We're just gonna go ahead and clear it uh, just because, I mean, hey, this could be a battery issue. It, it, it could also could not be that big of a deal. All right, codes are clear. Let's go ahead and also just do the maintenance as well. Let's go ahead and reset all the service. Uh, hold on, uh, are you satisfied with Carly? Of course, but I don't got time for a review. So yeah, services reset right here. Let's go ahead and continue on to that. And when we actually reset this, if we actually have any sensor issues, it will tell us that the reset failed. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and reset the front. And if this fails, that means our front sensor is bad. We didn't even check the front sensor, but it looks good uh, without taking off the wheel. I'm hoping it's good. So please say reset successful. We are praying on this. Reset failed. Okay, well that was nice. Um, but it said it did reset to 100%. So did it actually fail? Let's go ahead and reset the rears. I know for sure uh, the rear brake pads have been replaced, rear sensors, everything in the rear is good. So if this actually says successful, we might need to check the front real quick. Okay, it also said failed. So I think um, as long as it resets over here, yeah, it shows 100%, 100%. I think that means it's working, but I don't know why it said failed. Um, in terms of oil quality, eh, wow, it is way overdue for an oil change. So definitely have to do that. Uh, actually for the micro filter as well, it's way overdue. So we need to do that as well. Brake fluids, uh, we'll have to do that as well down the road and then vehicle check. We're just gonna go ahead and reset that, um, but yeah. Yep, and that actually was successful. So at this point guys, let's hope to God after resetting the codes and everything, once we start this up, we'll know if we have any brake lights. Please say we are good on the brakes guys. Nope, all right, so we still got a brake light. The e-brake's not actually up. So if I pull this up, this will turn red. When I pull it down, we still got a brake light. So let's go ahead and run the code, see why we have a brake light and a traction control light. Our TPMS is gone. Uh, we do have a light, couple light bulb errors, but we still need to figure out why that's there. My brother's gonna go ahead and get the third door panel out, but I don't know if you guys can see these handles. They're just in horrendous condition. See, so yeah, I don't even know what, <laughs> what happened here exactly. Um, same with this one. It's honestly just in such bad condition. I don't know if you guys can see all that. This entire kit, so you get this part, which we're actually replacing the back end, and then actually the front end as well, since both of ours was damaged. Uh, so yeah, we got both parts there. Should actually come with screws somewhere around here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, where's the screws at, my dude? It also comes with tools, which is actually super nice. I'm hoping hoping there's some screws in here somewhere. Oh dear. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get these new door handles on. Guys, my brother's actually putting on one of the door panels that I finished. I actually finished all three of these very quickly. So uh, what I found to be the easiest method is to not use a small drill bit, use the biggest drill bit that you got. So I had to use this big old one. Um, I think like, I don't even know what size this is, but it's pretty big in comparison to my drill. That's how it looks like. But yeah, that's all I use. And uh, basically, I don't know if you guys can see these. Don't don't actually drill out these two, but there's two right here. I drilled those two out, and there's two up here. I drilled those two out, and literally the door handle just comes right on out. I used the smaller one on the first one, and I had to like pretty much drill in a really weird angle to get those out. So yeah, use the biggest drill bit you got. Those come out, those come out super easily, and then it comes with screws. They literally put it in replacement of it instead of plastic welding and bada bing bada bang guys, the fitment and it looks so, so, so good. So look at that. It looks like an OEM door handle, brand new. And look at the fitment, like that is absolutely perfect. So now once we actually put the uh, the screw in right there, we got you slap on the other piece of the door handle, which is included. I believe it's like $15 each for the set with bolts, tools and everything. So I think it's a really, really good deal. Obviously it doesn't come with the, the, the tools so you actually need to actually drill it out, but it comes with the tools to actually put it in, which is pretty nice. Actually it comes with a flathead, which is kind of weird. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get those door panels in there. So 
So this door, window regulator, new door handle, good to go. This door, window regulator, uh, door handle, good to go. This thing is missing though, so we do need one of those. And uh, same for this door. This door actually had a broken one, but uh, other than that, again, door handle, window regulator, good to go. Same for that. Uh, I just realized those flickering lights, we actually popped it out of the door panel. They're aftermarket LED lights, that's why they're flickering everywhere. So they put aftermarket lights everywhere. We're gonna have to take all those out because it's clearly throwing a fault air and it just looks terrible. It looks like a, like a horror movie. I think after a very successful day, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself some Chipotle, you know, just to celebrate. We got so many things done with the car. We actually diagnosed the car and we figured out the reason why the brake light's there is not because of the brakes, apparently. I mean, at least we did it in the rear anyways. The fronts are good. It turned out to be the, the steering angle sensor, so pretty much the, the clock spring. So yeah, this is pretty much the same exact issue we had with the 7 Series. So the reason the brake light's on and uh, the, the traction control is because of the clock spring. On the 7 Series, it was the brake light and the airbag light. So it was like, it was two different lights. I wasn't really too familiar with it. But yeah, as soon as we plugged in car light, it told me exactly exactly what it was, so it's super convenient, super nice. Uh, the, I went ahead and found one on eBay for like 30 bucks, so I don't even need to go to a pick and pull to pick one up. So yeah, that is a big bonus. And we fixed all the interior door panels and the window regulators. I can't mention how, I can't stress that enough, guys, that we fixed pretty much all that good stuff. We are still replacing the passenger door. I know some of you guys are saying that we can fix the door. I'm trying to do this on a budget. I know a lot of you guys don't actually have body shop people, so I'm trying to show you guys how you can fix this on a budget and actually just picking up a door off pick and pull or someone off you know offer up and then just replacing the door instead of fixing it honestly i would encourage to honestly repair a bent door mainly because the, the, the once you actually replace a door the fitment's never going to be a hundred percent i recommend honestly i don't even like buying cars with messed up doors just for that exact reason this one the damage is not too bad honestly i would just encourage to just repair it but you know in this instance budget build's gonna be a lot cheaper just to replace it. Anyway, we had to pull like time to celebrate get some good stuff please pray for me they got some good guac today please pray for me that they uh the, the chicken's good because sometimes it's bad and we got to make sure it's really good.